All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start off the action tonight here on Daybreak in the Collegiate Star League with our first player spawning in the lower left-hand corner of the map. He is in the pink trunks from the team route, but tonight we'll be representing his college. It is none other than Caliber. Spawning in the top right position, representing UC Irvine is going to be the Blue Terran player, Shy Boy. So we have a TVP to start things off here, Doom, on Daybreak. And I mean, bringing out the big guns right away. Caliber, obviously, um, one of University of Washington's best players. So I'm expecting some pretty high-level play here. Me too. Uh, we saw him play in the King of the Hill last week, and he showed some pretty exciting games. Was taken out, I believe, though? Or he may have actually played in the, one of the last games of the night. Um, but he's definitely an entertaining player for sure. And yeah. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm curious what he's going to do in the PVT matchup. I know a lot of players have favored going for, like, early Mothership Core harassment, a couple of Stalkers. Pressuring the ramp, especially on Daybreak, is something you can definitely get away with. But yeah. it's going to be up to Shy Boy pretty much to dictate the pace, try to get as much damage done as possible. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Caliber has a very interesting way of playing. He plays StarCraft the way he feels like playing. I mean, watching this guy play, all the matchups... He has very unique styles, very unique builds, uh, PVZ, you know, he he was one of the guys on North American Ladder that was just making a bunch of charge lots and getting a quick third base back in Wings of Liberty, and it was working. So that's just sort of a testament to how creative Caliber can be as a player. Um, and if you'll notice, he's already gone 10 gateway, he already has a gas, he's going to get his cybernetics core off of just this first pylon right here. So this is a very... Uh, you know, very quick gateway in cyber. I'm assuming Absolutely. it's going to be for a very quick uh, mothership core, like you were kind of mentioning. Maybe he wants to get um, that pressure to Shy Boy's front door ASAP. I wouldn't be shocked if he does that, because we've actually seen you know Terran players rushing up for for widow mines very very quickly in the matchup. And if you're able to get a drop off in the Protoss player's main base, like undisrupted, essentially without having the Protoss pressure you at all, you can wreak havoc on the middle yeah. line of the Protoss player. But going for that early Mothership Core kind of throws the Terran player off, really puts him in, in the position to react to what, what you're going for as the Protoss player in the matchup. But it is going to be a Reaper opening from Shy Boy. And I've been seeing this crop up, uh, you know, a, a lot recently in Heart of the Swarm. Yeah, I mean, Reaper is definitely undeniably stronger in Heart of the Swarm. Uh, Daybreak, not the most incredible map for Reapers, but uh, even still, if you just get one Reaper, that means you're only committing to just getting that scouting information. And it looks like Shy Boy's SCV pokes in, but just sees the gateway and he's content with that much information. But in reality, this is a very heavy rush coming up from Caliber. Shy Boy didn't see that Zealot leaving, I don't believe. No, he didn't. Uh, but that, that Reaper is heading back, though. Going to grab that Watchtower. Now he sees the Zealot, and he's going to be a little bit confused. Because uh, that is obviously way early. I think he um, may have seen the Zealot with the SCV that was coming up, but he certainly has not seen the Mothership, mothership Core yet. And the Reaper is actually going to miss the Mothership Core as well. And the first reveal he's going to see is this thing pecking away at the Supply Depot. So wouldn't be shocked if he even goes for this reactor sitting at the front. And there goes the deep, the bunker down immediately for Shy Boy. Yeah, it's a little bit too close to that Mothership Core though. So he's going to be forced off the line and Caliber is already doing a lot of damage here. The first two Marines will come out, but the Stalker and the Mothership Core will be able to take care of them. With Gosh. no bunker, these Marines are completely undefended. Even one Mothership Core can kill two Marines flat out. So um, this is a very uncomfortable position right now for Shy Boy. Yeah, this is uh, an insane amount of aggression here. The Reaper is going to come back and try to do a little bit of damage to what it can. The Zealot is just tanking so much. A Time Warp's even go down, prevent the Marines from moving up forward, and there it goes, picking off Marines one by one as they are popping out. The Reactor is slowly dying. Their SCV is trying to repair it, but the, it is just too much. The Zealot's DPS is just too much. <laughs> and Caliber is just going to bust down that Reactor, man, and I don't really know if Shy Boy has many options. He's trying to get a good surround up on these SCVs and that's definitely going to be helpful. He's also making a Widow Mine which will um, definitely help in getting rid of these Stalkers. One Stalker is just... no, it's going to it's gonna squeeze away. There it goes. And uh, Shy Boy though, down to 7 Supply, that's it's really not ideal. I, I mean, feel he's like. making the Widow Mine, but there we go. GG, well played. And <laughs> Calbert taking a quick 1-0 lead here for his team. Uh, UCI is going to be down one, a down one game, and man, Chris, that's a tough way to go out for sure. Yeah, that is definitely a tough way to go out. I want to hop on ladder and just steal this build, <laughs> man. I just want to go ahead and, and win with one Zealot and one Mothership Core. He's getting a Twilight Council in the background, too. So, oh, man. Uh, so he had a transition in mind, what it was. 
maybe it was Blink or DTs, but either way, it's uh, clearly a build that is basing itself off of, you know, heavy, heavy aggression. Yep, and that's going to be that for the first game. University of Washington is going to take a quick 1-0 lead in the matchup. That's right. Just a quick shout out to our sponsors, NCIX, Raid Call, and MSI, guys. Come join us in Raid Call. We are in channel 1111. And uh, of course, the MSI giveaway, we are giving away a laptop. So check out our website for those details. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with game number two between UC Irvine and University of Washington.